everybody. <laughs> I'm going to do how to make a traditional Christmas cake, okay? Now, this recipe I have been doing for donkey's years and everybody seems to like it. So you can tweak it, you know, however you want to. Um, but anyway, um, as we go along, because this is the first kind of thing I've done like this, I should be picking the camera up and it'd probably be all wrong. And Steve, my husband here, bless him, is standing there to tell me everything that I do wrong. Merry Christmas. Let's put the Christmas apron on. Ho bloody ho. It's all a load of rubbish nowadays really, isn't it? What I'm going to do is soak my fruit overnight. That's what I do. So I won't be making the cake until tomorrow, but of course you won't have to wait because it will be the next whatever. There's my big bowl. And in there, I'm going to put 225 grams of sultanas. I'll put the um, recipe up towards the end. Um, 225 grams of currants and 225 grams of what? What have I done? Sultanas? Raisins! <laughs> oh, this is going to go well. What could go wrong, eh? eh? Of chopped dates. 50 grams of chopped dates. Bone those in. Now, you can use figs. My recipe does um, say figs, but um, I couldn't get them dried figs so I'm going to have extra glacé cherries because I like extra glacé cherries so they're going to go in and of course they're going to get stuck and I can only do it one handed but let me just okay that'll do um putting that down over there right so that's all that now then you want um two small oranges zested and juiced well I didn't have any small ones so I'm using one large one so there's the juice of one large orange, putting that in there. And the zest of my large orange is in there. There we go. Oh, nice little egg cup. I love this egg cup. Had it years. Right, so now, pecan nuts. We need 100 grams of pecan nuts. So um, I bought this thing on Amazon. Oh, my fingers are all sticky. Bear with, bear with. Just go, my hands are all sticky. Ooh. back again so i bought this thing on amazon I, I don't even know what make it is but anyway so you can it, charge it up with your what do you call those leads steve usb leads. usb leads right it's brilliant so just for chopping like little things so i'm going to put my nuts in there i just do a bit at a time i've already weighed them out so look look Ooh. chop nuts Chop nuts, go in the cake. Oh, right, and the next few. Okay. Oh, I should have put the. See, what could go wrong doing this except that. Put your blade in first, Joanne. There we go. Oh, this is so not going well. Right. Okay. Right, and again. Da, 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 da. Oh, no! It needs charging up. Oh, well, that's not done very well, is it? Oh, I'm going to... I shall come back. Back again. <laughs> Charge it up a little bit, so hopefully it'll work. So, put my nuts in. I'm looking at Steve and he's going... I don't know why. All chopped nuts. Anyway, so let's those in. Into my big bowl here. My bowl. Can you see my bowl? Mm -hmm. Right, so I'm going to put the rest, or oh, put the thing in. Put the blade in first, Joanne. Put the rest of the nuts in. We're coming to the interesting bit in a minute, the brandy. Anyway, so. I think my husband thinks I'm mad, but anyway. So that's my chopped nuts in. We've got 225 of current sultanas and raisins. I've put 200 grams of chopped um, or halved glacé cherries in. I've put um, the juice of one large orange or two small ones and the zest of one large orange or two small ones. That is all in my bowl, people. That is all in my bowl. And I'm just gonna get a spatula, bear with. Bow. Mix it all up. So I'm going to mix it all up. I'll show you what it's like when we've mixed it all up. 
There's quite a lot of fruit in this cake. That's healthy though, isn't it? It's supposed to be healthy, isn't it? Fruit. Lots of fruit. But as I say, you can put figs in. If you want to do the fig thing and not the extra cherries, it's 50 grams of figs and 50 grams of dates, dried, chopped up. That's it. All mixed up. Now comes the brandy. Now look, people. In my recipe, it says 100 ml. 100 ml of brandy. People, this is it in our house. Buy the cheapest bottle of brandy that you can find in the supermarket. So this is a full bottle. This is what I do. And you'll thank me. You'll thank me when you're eating it. So there's that. Glug, 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 glug. Glug, 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 Getting down there. Let's just see what I think now. Give it another stir. Ooh, smells of brandy and Christmas. Lovely. You will thank me for that. Never mind a hundred mil. God, half a bottle. More like it. So mix that up. I'm going to put a bit more in actually, because if you when you leave it overnight, see, when you leave it overnight. It'll all soak in to the fruit and it will be lovely and delicious for your cake. And you'll have a moist cake. Now, there is this thing of, you know, when you've made your, your Christmas cake, you have to feed it every week, a couple of tablespoons and put dots in the top of the cake and you feed the cake, you know. Who wants to be doing that, people? We don't want to be doing that. The brandy goes in right now. It soaks the fruit overnight. And once the cake's made, that's it until Christmas. And by the way, this cake, any fruit cake actually, you can, why have my lights gone out? My lights have gone out. This happens in this house, people. Anybody, he's laughing. Anybody that knows me. Let me just tell people that don't know me that well. I'm married a nerdy geek, right? A tech, tech guy. And everything in our house, he's, he's walking away, running away now. Everything in our house is done on the internet and things. You know, when the internet goes down, it's hell. The lights come on, they come on and if you don't move around a bit they go off and then you might want the light and then I have to say, you know, you know. Yeah, but what do I say? What's the command? And if I say it, everybody's thing is going to go off, isn't it? So you'd yes. have to bleep out you know who. But now what's the command? I never know the command. I just want to put a switch on. That's all I want, people. That's all I want. Come in, put the switch down. But I can't. What have I got to say, Steve, to put the lights on? Lights on, kitchen lights on. See, even he doesn't get it right. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, and there we are. More lights, that's good. Anyway, back to the stirring of the fruit. See, I can never remember the command in this house for anything. And that's the trouble. I mean, the doorbell to everything. It's all controlled. Lights, heating. It's all to do with the internet. So when the internet goes down, oh my God, does he get in the mood? I might just put a bit more, actually. A bit more brand. See, we're getting down the bottle, aren't we, people? So, I think that will be enough now. But as you can see, see, it doesn't, you know. Anyway, by tomorrow, that will be lovely. And our house is going to smell lovely of Christmas. It's going to smell of Christmas, just like Delia says, you know. Have you ever read Delia's uh, book? I love, I love Delia, and I've got a lot of Delia's books, but you know. She's so organised on Christmas Day. What is it? You know, she says, and you put the turkey in, and then you go to morning mass. Well, who's got time for that? I am. Anyway, gonna cover that. Gonna cover that with. What am I gonna cover that with? I haven't got any. I have those wax things, you know, those wax things. But I haven't got one that's big enough for that, so I am gonna have to use foil. So we're going to put some foil over the top. I don't like using foil. Try and keep it green and eco. Whatever. Anyway, so that's that already. And the next time I'll see you will be tomorrow, where I'll show you how I do my cake tin. And um, I do it the old-fashioned way, how my mother taught me, and how my grandmother taught my mother, and my mother taught me. I will show you involving putting paper around it and a magazine and tying it all up. That'd be fun trying to do that on camera, but I'll try my best. So that's all for today. See you tomorrow, which for you will be like in a second. Okay.
Hello, so it's the next day. Wonders of science and magic. And I've got the fruit here that's been soaking all night in all that brandy. And you can see there's really not a lot of um, liquid at all because all the fruit has soaked up all the brandy. Smells delish. Right, now then, what I want to do first is to show you what I do with my um, cake tin. Now the recipe says to have a 23 centimetre tin. I've used various sizes over the years. Um, the one I've got at the moment is a 25 centimetre one. Just means my cake won't be as high, but by the time you put marzipan and icing sugar on the top, you know, it's fine. And I use a, I think they call it a spring form, you know, where it all comes to bits. Anyway, I'm gonna show you what I do to the tin um, before I start actually making the cake. You also need to put your oven on, 150, or if you've got a fan oven, put it on for 130. So it's very low, cook slowly. Um, take about three hours to cook. I undo my thing, put a piece of paper on the bottom. Let me just move that out way, you can see, on the bottom. And then I put the cake thing on the top, like that. So now you've already got the bottom lined, really, really simple. So then I take my scissors, and just cut round. Yeah, that's it's very easy. Chuck it over there for now. If it's all that state of the kitchen, it's horrendous. Anyway, so now I'm going to grease, it is a non-stick one this one, but I'm going to grease it with um, a bit of butter. The way I do it is I take a piece of kitchen paper and get a bit of butter on there and then I'll just go round, just putting in, greasing it all around. Because then I'm going to stick I think that'll do us. So then get your, I've already prepared these earlier, but I'm gonna put greaseproof paper around the inside. So, like this. Put that down a bit. Just to, in case it stick into the butter. Actually, have I got enough? Hang on, have a look. You know I was saying it can't go wrong. It could go wrong. Anyway, let's just right. So that'll do us. It's not quite meeting, but that will do perfectly. Okay for the cake. Right now, what I do now, I buy a copy. The the right thickness for this is is sort of like your TV guides. So. I buy the magazine and then I cut it, when you've used it obviously, straight down the middle. Straight down the middle. And I'm going to put this around. Now the easiest way to do this is I get a bit of, um, oh, you can, I've used sellotape but it does mark your pan and then you get a sticky mark on your thing. This paper kind of one is ideal and also you can rip it like that. So stick that on the paper stick it on the tin, just a minute, oh could it go wrong, yes it could, I did it too far up, right okay so there we go, that around. like so, the reason for doing this, as I was told by my mother, is because um, you want it to cook slowly and it doesn't, it helps to not dry your cake out. So then I'm going to put one around there. So I'm going to stick it again. Of course, back in the day, I think my mother used probably brown paper, you know. Anyway, um, let's just. 
like so. I've always done this every Christmas cake I've ever made. And just to make sure that stays there, I get string and tie it around as well. So. There, so that's gonna stay just cut the ends a bit there you go so that's the prepared tin for your cake to go in okay so now we'll mix the cake together now right so now we're going to put the cake together so what you're going to need is four large eggs 225 grams of muscovado dark sugar 225 grams of plain flour with a teaspoon of ground cinnamon ground cloves and ground nutmeg in there and sieved, then sieve it all together. So it's sort of a off-white sort of color. Right, so the first thing, um, butter, 225 grams of unsalted butter at room temperature. And I sort of chop mine up and because it's easier to, you know, whiz together. I'm just wondering actually, my lead is not going to um, reach. <laughs> now we're gonna put the sugar, we're gonna beat it together in the bowl. I hope you can see this. I've now beaten, if you can see that, the sugar and the butter together. And now I'm going to add in the four eggs, which you do one at a time. And after each one, you beat. So. It will look like it's <clears throat> curdling a bit. Don't worry, because by the time you get all the fruit in and everything, it's absolutely fine. So, number two. <clears throat> number three. the sides down okay so now it looks sort of like that you can see it's quite soft now and we're going to put in the flour a bit at a time so just a little bit them together until it all comes off right 
now just clean down the sides and get it all in properly right so as you can see now all that fruit there's hard there's not really very much uh you know brandy swimming around there really so all of the like the sultanas everything it's all soaked it all up and we've now got to combine it into this so you need a strong arm for this so i put quite a bit in to start off with splashing everywhere as she goes and then we have to stir it all in which can take some time oh my god it smells delicious can you smell it steve yeah but you may be a bit fast <laughs> smells gorge see so we just put it all together so well let's lift it up and do it this way getting there getting there you have to give it a really good stir to make it all you know make sure it's all um combined because you don't want bits that are too cakey and haven't got any fruit in right let's go in for the the last bit Ooh, ooh all that all the brandy in right that's all in just got to make sure it's all stirred up now i think years ago the tradition was that you made it so many weeks before christmas and then every sunday it was stir sunday and um the family came and they used to let the you know the children give it a stir um but uh or something like that i can't remember the full story now anyway um who's got time for that <laughs> nowadays too much of a busy busy old world and what a world we live in eh crazy world but uh anyway so combining oh i've got to all make combining it all together so you see there's nothing horrible about that i don't know if you can see it it's all lovely it couldn't possibly come out wrong she says after over 33 years of marriage and making one every year sometimes three eight three and giving them as presents and stuff so um it always, always has come out absolutely perfect. We'll just see. Because <laughs> this will be the time when it doesn't. Anyway, so I've mixed that all together there. And then I've got my prepared tin that I did earlier. So now we've got to get all of that into the tin. So, oh, it's quite hot now. So let's, um, that in there. Let's start popping it in the middle because this cake you know it doesn't have to rise really or anything you know you can just pop it in and it'll be a solid solid cake so I'm pushing it down in the middle so ooh, a bit flew away oh and a bit more on the countertop all in push it out to the sides Right, let's go for it a bit more now. Let's get it in. Just get my spatula on. Because we have to get all, all the lovely goodness in. Right. it down so I'm pushing it sort of down in the middle and at the sides so that it all now a little secret you may or may not know this but if you make a bit of a dip in the middle it means because it I mean it does slightly rise but it, it should come out flat when you get it out of the oven my mother told me that a woman of many words as my husband will <laughs> tell you but evidently I'm quite like her so I have many words too so I'm going to make a sort of dip in the middle and then hopefully you know that will be I think that looks okay I 
I don't know if you can, I don't want to tip it up. But anyway, slight dip in the middle. Hopefully it's all going to come out flat and it'll look good. So I'm now going to put this in the oven. Now it goes in the oven for, the recipe says three and a half hours. Now all ovens are different and hopefully you'll know your own oven. Mine cooks quite quickly. It's quite, even though it's on a low heat, you know, it's quite hot. So I am going to put my um, clock alarm on for two and a half hours and then have a look and it would possibly need a bit more so it might be three for me but as I say the recipe says three and a half depends on your oven that's all down to you people what you what your oven does and uh, yeah so anyway the next time you see this it'll be when it's cooked hopefully and it'll look good all right see you later bye don't burn yourself <laughs> right Okay, in the oven, come back later. Oh, that's gorgeous. Right, go. So, cake's come out, mine's nice and cool now, so I've let it cool down. I've taken all the paper and string and all that off, and I'm just gonna undo this, and then you can see. Look at my cake, and it's nice and flat on the top. So if you want to um, marzipan it and ice it, you can, or you can keep it like this. You can freeze it, but fruit cake you don't have to freeze because it stays forever and ever. But um, usually at Christmas, you know, I marzipan it and ice it, and then um, we only usually eat about a quarter of it, you know. So I then slice it all up, and then I sort of freeze it in two or three portions and put it in the freezer, and we just get it. <coughs> That's my dog Alfie. <laughs> Deaf as anything, can't hear a thing, but likes to bark. Um, anyway, we'll carry on. <laughs> so, but as you can see, nice and flat because I did the slight um, little well in the in the top, and that's it. And it's lovely and moist, and all at the sides, so it's absolutely great. So now I'm just going to um, I'm going to cover it up with foil and and put it away, and well, probably greaseproof paper first because otherwise foil tends to stick to it so then I'll put foil on it and then I'll keep it and then I'll uh, probably a couple of weeks before Christmas I'll um, marzipan and ice it I'm not going to film that because I make lovely marzipan I really do I don't buy shop bought you can buy shop bought nothing wrong with shop bought but I make my own and I'm fine at putting the bit on the top but when it comes to the sides I end up patching it all because I can't get it on but it doesn't matter because then the icing sugar goes on top and nobody's the wiser what's underneath really so that's how to make a traditional christmas cake i hope you've enjoyed my video if you have press the thumbs up like and uh, subscribe to our channel sod it we're retired and um just one of the things i get up to in my retirement so i hope you have a nice christmas lovely christmas it's just two days people and it's over with and then you have that flipping lull in the middle don't you where nobody knows um, see the lights are going out now. What do we do about that then, Steve? I think I'm still in, in thing, but my lights are gone out. This happens. This happens in this house. Um, yes, you have that horrible lull in between Christmas where nobody knows when the bin men are coming and you don't know what day of the week it is. And then it's New Year. And uh, I personally don't like New Year, actually. I said, Happy New Year. I'm usually the one driving, so I'm, I don't drink. But uh, anyway, whatever. But I hope you have a nice Christmas and... Don't take on it, don't stress about anything. It's really, you know, you don't have to stress about anything. It's just more important to be together, children to just have fun, lots of cuddles and kisses and play stupid games. That's all kids want really, an empty box. <laughs> they don't need all the, all the presents. I think at this time of year, you know, people are going to, <laughs> he's going, oh my God, he's, I'm getting this look. Oh God, she's going off on, on a tangent. <laughs> I'm just, I just want to say that, you know, I think there's so much stress at Christmas. There's going to be people very hard up and against it this year. Um, mental health as well, you know. It's not easy for a lot of people. So just get through it a day at a time. If you can't do that hour by hour or minute by minute, but you'll get through it. And then it'll be another, another year. And we'll do it all again next year. So bye for now. And uh, till the next whatever video that will be. Okay, bye.